What's up guys, welcome to this POV review by Autotop NL. My name is Max, this is Martijn, and today we have been invited by BMW to come and drive the all new BMW M3 and M4 competitions on the Zandvoort GP track, which is freaking awesome. It is the new tracks, and of course we've got the new banked corner uh, leading up to the pit straight. So super excited to both drive the new track and drive the new car, of course. Our new car. Our new car, because maybe you've missed this, we have bought our very own BMW M3 with a manual gearbox. So a non-competition manual. So we're super excited about that as well. But before we continue, I just want to take a moment to thank today's sponsor, which is BOTB. They are the dream car competition company and are now giving away two cars every week in their dream car competitions and midweek car competitions. They have now also added a cash prize of 50,000 pounds to every car you can win. And why this promo is in this video, you can now also win the new BMW M3 or M4 along with that 50,000 pound cash prize. You only have to be 17 or over to enter and you can choose from over 150 different cars. 20 of those are BMWs and you can start playing for just a couple of euros or pounds. Tickets are available from around £1.50 to about £5 and you can play from all over the world. Links are in the description below or in the top comment. Um, please let us know if you win something and enjoy the video. So we're going to warm up for one lap, check if this track is clear. Well, this is also quite kind of a good test to see what it feels like on a daily basis, this car, because we've got everything in comfort and efficient mode right now. And you can feel that the new eight-speed automatic gearbox is really smooth, much smoother than the DCT of the last M3, of course, or M4. We're in, a, we're in an M4, did I say that already? We have chosen to start in an M4. Competition. So this is the banked corner. Look at that. Wow, look at that angle. That is freaking insane. So this has been made uh, to give the Formula One drivers the opportunity to kind of slingshot themselves onto the straight, uh, making it possible to overtake more and uh, more easily, basically. So I'm just uh, going to get out, show you guys the car we've got. Um, as I said, we've got a Sao Paulo yellow M4 competition with ceramic brakes, carbon exterior package. And today is really about uh, giving you guys a first impression on track. And a full review will be coming later on because we've, we've only got like 20 minutes uh, on track, but this is just a first impression and give you guys a quick look and feel of what it's like on track. I just want to check, by the way, if we have the right tires. Yes, these are 4S's. And I think, yeah, we'll check later on if the, the M3 has 4S's as well. But yes, we've got 4S. No P0's today, or at least right now. So I'm just going to select Sport and Sport Plus for everything. Manual for the gearbox. And we're just going to take it easy. I mean, it's the first time I'm driving this track since it's been... Oh, it's very slippery. But the car feels really, really good. It feels like a, like a small M5, basically. And I know that some people are going to say, well, that's a bad thing because it's not as aggressive as an F80. And I kind of agree with that. But on a slippery day like today, I'm kind of glad that it feels so sturdy and quite big actually it 
turn in is really good actually. The front end feels super stiff. And that's actually something they really paid attention to. Because the car is quite a bit heavier than the last generation M3. So they really wanted to make sure that the car felt stiff and sharp like the last one. Wow, this, this feels really tricky, the backed corner. in 7.8 seconds 100 to 200 which is really quick so let's start exploring the limits of the front end especially because we know that the limits of the rear end are reached quickly these brakes feel really good as well super sturdy very solid front end grip is actually pretty pretty insane it is seriously wet and, and greasy so it's actually better than I was expecting the tires are warming up now as well Okay, lining it up for a 100 to 200 pull. That was an 8.3. 8.3 seconds. That's with two persons. In the two car. people in the car, first time trying. Not bad. Man, this front end is seriously, it is very confidence inspiring actually. God, this is a good car. <laughs> oh man, it feels, honestly, it, it doesn't feel any different from an M5. It, it's basically a, a lighter, slightly more nimble version of the M5. And a little bit distant but you do feel how far you can go so it's it's pretty direct and it does let you know what's happening quite well Brake pedal is really good as well. We've got the choice now between comfort and sport, of course. So, okay, so we've got a 4.650 to 100 in the wet. That is pretty yep, impressive. Yep, so we'll put the traction control in MDM mode, M dynamic mode, which should allow us to play a little bit more. We're not allowed to drift it around or anything like that, which I totally understand, but this should give us a little bit more freedom with the throttle. But this track, guys, I mean, the Zandvoort GP track is actually so much fun to drive. I don't know 
how Formula One is going to be here because as you can see, it's quite narrow and Formula One cars are over two meters wide now. So this might be an overtaking point, but to drive with an M3 or an M4 competition is a lot of fun. We've got a lot of fake sound coming through the speakers, of course, as we're used to. So I find it quite hard to determine how much sound is actually coming from the exhaust. The engine sounds pretty good. And we have, what's that, 7,000 RPM, 7,250 RPM. So that's not bad. And it feels quite powerful all the way up there. So that's really nice. So let's find out what it actually sounds like. That's a nice sound. That sounds pretty good. Does it? Yeah. Nice. It's quite a it's quite a dark sound. So this is an M3 sedan, as you've seen. Um, the center of gravity is actually 20 millimeters lower in an M4. So they really tried to make the coupe feel different and uh, make that more sporty. Apparently the track is also different on an M4 compared to an M3. Alrighty, so here we go in the M3 competition. So maybe the most impressive thing about this is that it doesn't really feel any different than the M4. Lots of front end grip. Yeah, the biggest difference I would say um, next to the increase in weight is the gearbox. It, compared to the MDCT, of course, this, this really feels like an automatic gearbox. And uh, I think that is something that you're going to notice immediately when you get into this car. Yes, it's going to be more comfortable uh, for your daily driving. something kilometers an hour and that is the absolute limit we've got the new S58 engine based on the B58 which we really love and that too feels a little bit less aggressive and explosive I would say than the old S55 but it does feel really solid and 
like grown up. We also have bigger rear wheels, as you know, probably uh, 18 inch at the front, 19 inch at the rear, or optional 19 inch at the front, 20 inch at the rear. And they've designed it that way to put more weight on the front axle. Uh, and that's combined with all the fortifications they made at the front and at the front axle and uh, on the floor as well. It all means that you have a lot of front end grip and I wasn't really expecting that. I don't know why, but it's, it's exceeding my expectations. And this is a rear wheel drive version. I mean, imagine if you have an X-Drive coming in uh, summer. It's going to be brutal. able to do this every time at BMW they set up these cars and it's you really don't think about it but you but you get in it for the first time you get on a wet track and you just you feel like you've been driving it for 10 years it's like I don't know how they are able to do this On track, uh, this is the way to go, definitely. Because it is so much quicker, you can keep your hands on the wheel. Um, but for daily driving and fun driving, I think we've made the right choice. I think so, yeah. Because this automatic is... It doesn't have the character of the DCT, and I'm not even driving it. Yeah, no, it doesn't have the same, like, big the hits. Yeah. The raciness. On the track, this or the F80 competition? On the track, this or the F80. I think the F80 is more fun. Um, just because it feels like you're more in touch with the car and the car is trying to kill you a little bit more. This feels quite safe, wouldn't you agree? From, uh, from sitting there? It actually really feels like a Mini M5. Yeah. It's more civilized, it's more... Yeah. And I think if you compare it to the competitors, C63, AMG, uh, an Alfa Giulia Q, I mean an Audi RS4, I'm, an Audi RS4, I'm not even going to compare it to that because it's just a completely a different animal. Um, but I think if you compare it to the AMG and the Q, it's so much more civilized than both. And it, they are just so far ahead if you look at chassis development engine development as well. I mean, AMG is going to a hybrid four-cylinder and BMW are just, just continuing with those six cylinders, which is just awesome. This, this does feel, this chassis feels miles ahead of the, the Alpha. I think it's a bit more crude. The Alpha is a bit more raw. This is very, very polished. And that's both good and bad. They both have 510 horsepower, but this feels way more powerful. Yeah. As I can see on our 100 to 200 list. This is supposed to do 7.9 on the dry track. The Alpha does, I don't know, I'll look it up. Right there. I do think the Alpha has the better 
gearbox software. Yeah, definitely. The, the Alpha is more uh, hardcore software-wise. They both have the same hardware when it comes to the gearbox. And I think that Mini M5 character is really going to show when you get the x ride. That will be even more M5-like. Yeah, definitely. But I can't believe how much grip this car actually has for a rear-wheel drive BMW. Yeah, it's insane. But it's m so much more grip than an F80, so much more. Both front and rear axle grip is insane. Do you remember the early F80s that wanted to kill you? Yeah. Okay, so traction control all the way off. Did you just get a green flag to drift in? Yeah. <laughs> traction, is that here or where is that? I don't know, I don't know this track. Drift analyzer. Uh, yeah. yeah, okay. Okay, so drifting. Oh my god, what a car! <laughs> what a car! No. Honestly, I, I freaking love this car already and I've driven it for like 15 minutes. <laughs> it is so good. It is so, oh, it is on the money. Everything is. Again, it's just, I wish the gearbox would be a little bit more aggressive in, in the most aggressive setting. Yeah, come on BMW, uh, just hack. Driving on track is a lot of fun in this car because it feels really solid it feels it doesn't feel like it wants to kill you on a wet track and all in all you have the same bmw feel you have that that connection to the car